Hey there, it's Jim. It's uh, March 4th, I think. It's Friday, anyway. Uh, 562. This one had a brand new uh, short block put on it last year, about exactly a year ago. It uh, looks like got at least a seal leak there. These ones are those, I don't know, some guys call them nylite or uh, nylon caged bearings in them. What I've noticed in the past is normally when that cage goes, uh, it takes out the seal. Pretty, uh, pretty disappointed and frustrated today here, but um, anyways, um, I'll open it up and see what happens. But looks like quite a bit of uh, bubbles and air coming out of there. Um, so yeah. The guy was having trouble, seemed like it was running lean. Um, suspected the uh, intake manifold boot had torn. Replaced uh, that and put her back together. These ones are kind of tough to do a pressure and vac test on. So uh, anyways, uh, she was uh, running lean after I put her back together. Um Tore her back down today and uh, doing the pressure and vac test. And lo and behold, that's what it is. So pretty disappointing if you only get a year out of a $300 uh, new from Husqvarna uh, short block kit. I'll just zoom back out here. Um, so yeah. But, like I said, there we'll see what happens here. I'll try and pause you guys and then resume here in a minute when I get the clutch and stuff off. Hmm. Okay, we're back. So, uh, clutch is off. I'll just uh, see if I can actually show you here without having to move the camera. So, yeah, that outer seal is... Uh, shredded and once i remove the seal I'll be able to see a bit better whether or not it's a result of the uh nylon cage what i found in the past is when the bearings go it's because that cage uh tears apart and what seems like the trouble is that the uh Nylon cage, there's only, I think it's eight bearings in there. If there's too much torque on the crankshaft pulling against the bearings, uh, the nylon ends up uh, opening up there. And when that happens, all the bearings end up going to the back side of the, uh, <clears throat> to the back side here. And the crank's actually able to move ahead a bit. Those, that nylon cage, it ends up usually ripping out this seal. And the bearings actually get sucked in through the, uh, into the crankcase. And then up through your lower transfers. And usually jam between the piston and the cylinder. Take out the piston and the cylinder. I had that happen on my personal saw two years ago. Um... And I've seen it on three or four other ones since then too. So uh, just because it's nylon doesn't mean that's the only thing that's uh, going into the crankcase. And because these auto-tune carbs try and keep compensating for air leaks, uh, what happens is then the saw continues to get run. 